Hey, Denise here. How's it going out there? I just got home from school. I don't have a lot of homework tonight, so I'm going to do it later. School is weird this week. I feel really bad about this rumor I started about this kid named Scott. At the time, it seemed really funny, but now I feel really guilty about the whole thing. Here's what happened. Scott and I were working on a project together. I'm used to getting all A's, but Scott didn't do his part on the project, and we got a bad grade on it. I was so angry at Scott. I mean, really angry. To get back at him, I started a rumor that Scott likes to pick his nose and then put it in his mouth. Pretty soon, the gossip machine started, spreading the story I made up about Scott that wasn't true. Do you hear that Scott fixes his nose and then eats it? That is so disgusting. Guess what? Hmm. Scott is so disgusting. He picks his nose and then puts it in his mouth. Seriously? When Scott walked down the hall, kids began teasing him. Um, I don't know. Hey, look, there's Snotty Scotty. Hey, Snotty. I mean, Scotty. What did you call me? Snotty Scotty. That's what everybody's calling you. Everyone's saying you pick your nose and then you eat it. What? Who's saying that? Everyone. <laughs> anyway. The rumor I started made Scott miserable. He talked to Angela about what he should do about it. Angela, come here. Hey, Scott, what's up? Have you heard what people have been saying? Yeah, it's so stupid. But people think it's true, and now everybody's making fun of me. I don't know what to do. I know, it's tough. I wish I knew who did it. I make up something bad about them and tell everyone. No, that's not a good idea. Don't look for revenge, it'll only make things worse. Yeah, you're right. We have to tell people it's not true and keep saying it. You need to take a stand. In the end, Angela gave Scott some really good advice. She was a better friend than I was. She was right. Seeking revenge obviously would have made things worse. Telling everyone that the rumor was a lie and having a friend help him spread the word was the best way to squash the rumor and stop the gossip. Did you know that spreading rumors is a form of harassment? Harassment really hurts people's feelings. Hi Denise, I'm Sarah. Hi Sarah, what's up? I have a question. What do you call it when someone teases you over and over and over? Let me think. It's definitely harassment. I'd call it taunting. Why did you ask? Well, I've been teased or taunted for a long time about my name. Sarah? No, my last name, Minnow. It started when I moved to a new school. I remember walking down the hall and some kids coming up to me. I was really excited. They asked my name and I told them. Hi, what's your name? Sarah. Sarah Minnow. You mean like the fish? Well, it's not spelled the same. So you named after a fish. <laughs> 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 After that, everybody called me Fish or made that stupid fish face. Hey, Fishy, wanna go swimming? At first, it really bothered me, and lots of times I'd end up crying in the girls' room. Hey, it's Fishy, going for a swim? <laughs> Everyone knew that the name Fish bothered me, so no matter where I went, the kids called me Fish. The more they taunted me, the worse it got. So what'd you do? Well, I talked to my mom, and she told me to ignore it. She said teasers like to see people get upset, and if I ignore them and pretend I didn't hear, they may stop. Did it work? Well, kind of. When you don't react, the taunters don't know what to do. If they can't get a reaction, it ruins their fun. Eventually, they'll stop doing it. Wow, that's great. Thanks for sharing.
Ignoring the person who's teasing you is one way to deal with harassment, and it can work in lots of situations, but sometimes you just can't ignore it, and you have to take action. That's what my brother John found out when he went to a basketball camp. It was a five-day camp, and with four nights of sleepovers. The first night, my brother John met with the kids he'd be sleeping with. There was Jason, Brendan, and Mike. It's lights out in five minutes. I brought a night light. A night light? Are you two years old? No, I just need a little light, that's all. Oh, you're afraid of the dark. What a baby. Knock it off. And what are you doing? Reading a bedtime story. How nice. I like to read before I go to sleep. It's a bedtime story, and you're a baby. Can't believe I'm with a bunch of babies. All right, gentlemen, lights out. Good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite babies. Mike really liked to tease a lot. The next day, it continued. <laughs> what the heck? Who put peanut butter on my basketball? Did you do this, Mike? Yeah. You couldn't hold on to the ball yesterday. Not funny. I think so. You shouldn't be touching anybody else's stuff. Who's gonna stop me? Come on, Brendan. Let's go to practice. What's going on? Nothing. Let's go. Man, he's a real jerk. He's creepy. He's a bully. I can't stand being in the same room with him. I'd like to punch him in the face. No, we should talk to him. He might punch us. Not if we work together. We have a three-on-one chance. That might work. So the boys talked to Mike and told him to stop bullying them. And for the most part, he stopped picking on them. I guess sometimes you can't ignore a bully. You have to do something but it doesn't mean punching or hitting. Instead, speak up, use your words. Doing it together can work better than one person doing it alone. There's safety in numbers. You know, come to think of it, my friend Amanda was involved with something a few months ago with her friends, Linda and Ava. There was a little harassing going on, and at first, Amanda wasn't sure what to do about it. It all started when they were studying at the library one day, and Ava got up to look for a book. Hey guys, I'll be back in a minute. As soon as she left, Linda had a devious plan. Ava's just a little too weird for me. I don't like hanging out with her anymore. Let's just leave. Without telling her? Yeah. But why? Because I don't like her anymore. I don't like the way she dresses. I don't like the way she talks. I don't want to hang out with her anymore. Let's go. So they got up and left without telling Ava where they were going. Well, they didn't go too far. Linda wanted to see Ava's reaction. So they hid in one of the rows of the books and watched her. The more her Ava looked, the worse Amanda felt about the whole thing. And why wasn't Amanda doing something to stop it? She finally realized that she had to do the right thing. What are you doing? I don't feel right about this. I feel bad for Ava. But she's a dweeb. She's my friend. Hey, Ava. I thought you guys left without me. No, we wouldn't do that. So Amanda did the right thing. She felt better about herself. I think it's important to stand up for a friend when they're being teased. You'll feel better about it too. Well, we've seen how rumors and gossip, taunting and bullying can hurt. And we've also found out ways to handle it. You can fight a rumor by spreading the truth. A good way to handle taunting is ignore it. Don't show that you're upset or angry. When you can't ignore a bully, speak up. Tell the bully how you feel. If you can, do it in a group. It's safer. And when you see others being teased or bullied, it's your responsibility to make sure it stops. That's what to do about rumors, taunts, and bullies. <laughs>